get back in the swing of things, our first service now of, of our season, and we will start off every service with the three symbols. We have the symbol of the cross. That's where Jesus died to pay for our sins. We have the candle, which signifies that Jesus is the light of the world. He shines a light in the darkness of the sin-filled world. And we have bell that starts starts the service. So here we have we have the cross. Put that right here. And we have the candle. Who wants to uh, light the candle? Amanda? You just want to turn it on? Just turn on the five button there. There it is. Thank you very much. All right. There we have. And then we have the bell that starts the service. Matthew, give it a ring and pass it around. Pass it around, buddy. All right. All right. Anybody else? Yeah. All right. Thank you very much. All right. So put that up here. Bring up the news that Jesus is here with us. Now, every service we have a memory treasure, and for day, today we have our memory treasure from Colossians chapter 3. It's from St. Paul. He said, whatever you do, work at it with all your heart. So let's repeat that. You ready? Whatever you do, work at it with all your heart. That's going to be hard to do, isn't it? Work at something with all your heart, not just maybe a little bit, but all of your heart, all your energy. And we'll be talking about that today. And so we start out with our first song is Hark, the Voice of Jesus Calling. So grab your instruments and you can play along. symbols for the triune God or three God. We have God Father represented by the cloud. We have representation of Jesus, the Son of God. And also, we have God the Holy Spirit. And we say together, Amen. Ready? Amen. amen. Okay. So let's pray. Let's hold our hands. Dear Heavenly Father, come and be with us today. Bless our worship. Give us understanding as we listen to your word. Give us joy as we sing to your glory. Give us peace as we bring our prayers to you. We ask this in Jesus' name. Together we say, Amen. Amen. We confess our sins and we receive God's forgiveness. Dear children of God, our God is holy. He does not sin. Our God is holy. He does not want us to sin, but we are sinners. We fail to do what God tells us to do. We do what God tells us not to do. So let's tell God that we have sinned with these words, God, I have sinned. Together? God, God I, I have, have sinned. sinned. So let's tell God that we are sorry we have sinned with these words, God, I am sorry. Together? God, God I, I am sorry. sorry. Jesus died on the cross instead of us. 
Jesus' death pays for all of our sins. And you can be certain these words are true when you say, Jesus died for me. Together, Jesus, Jesus died, died for me. Through faith in Jesus, God forgives all of our sins. So let's tell the good news in this way. God forgives me. Together, God forgives me. And to the other we say, thank you, God, for taking away my sins. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, God. As forgiven children of God, let's pray. So let's hold our hands. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you for sending Jesus to die on the cross for us. Now we know that we have forgiveness for all our sins. Now we know that we are your people. Now we know that we will live with you in heaven someday. And we say, Amen. There's a memory treasure. You're probably picking it up now. Okay, let's go ahead and say it. Whatever you do, work at it with all your heart. Okay, so, so a few weeks ago, we had a holiday. It wasn't the 4th of July, it wasn't Christmas, it was Labor Day. Labor Day. So, on Labor Day, we remember the workers that work in our country. We can have many, many types of workers. Here we have a worker here, he looks like he's a machinist. He makes parts for machines. Here we have uh, uh, somebody on a jackhammer and he is working on a highway, rebuilding a highway. Looks like we have some bad concrete. He's jackhammering out the bad concrete. So that's the type of labor that we need. We need to have smooth roads and he gets rid of the rough roads for us. What about these people? What are they making? What are they making? They're making furniture. They're furniture makers. They make chairs. Very nice chairs. People, people need chairs to sit on. They don't sit on the floor. They sit in chairs. What else do we have here? We have some people making some uh, clothing. Looks like maybe sheets, maybe bed linens. Things that people need. People need all this stuff. And people work at it to give us stuff that we need. Here's somebody else. You probably have seen this person out in the outside sometime. Looks like he's an electrical line worker. And maybe he's working on uh, cables. In case we have a power outage, he's the first one out. He's out there in the bucket truck and he's working to get the power restored for us so we can have electricity. What about this person? What is he doing? Looks like he's in a mine. He's mining for minerals that make us stuff. Maybe mining for coal that we can burn our power plants, or maybe it's something else. All we have around here is made from the minerals and stuff that we get in the, in the ground. It's hard work, hard, dangerous work, but it's work that God's made for us. Here's something else. This is maybe not around here, but maybe down, in, down south of here. These are men who are oil drillers. And they drill for oil. And that for the oil, we can get gasoline and that can power our cars so we can drive around. So, what else? I have some other tools I want to show you. Maybe you guys can tell me what, what these tools are used for. Okay? We'll start with an easy one. How about this? What's this? Anybody know what that is? Rolling pin. It's a rolling pin. So, what? What do people use rolling pins for? For cooking, make cookies and stuff. Exactly. Making cookies. cookies. Have you made a lot of cookies with a rolling pin? Mm, yeah. Yes. Okay. Yes. You probably eat cookies too, right? Yeah. Yeah. You Same. eat the cookies. Yeah. That's my favorite. I don't like to make them. I like to eat them. Okay. Let's try this. That's a, that's a kind of easy one. What's that? A hammer. A hammer. And we use that for construction. We use it for all sorts of things, usually wood products. We use that for hanging drywall, we use that for making furniture, we use that usually for putting houses together. 
it's a pretty small hammer too. It looks like a finish, a finish hammer. It's not a big hammer that you usually use. Okay, let's try something a little bit harder. Maybe you can figure this one out. What about this? What does that look like? What does that look like? Clippers. Clippers, clippers is a good answer. Good answer, but not quite. Not quite. Wire cutters? These are wire clippers. Mm -hmm. These are wire strippers. These are used by oh, electricians mm -hmm. to, to clip wires, and also you see the different holes in there. The different uh, gauges of wires can be, can be used. You can strip off the insulation. That's what electricians use. All right, there's one more. One more, one more tool that's used for work. What's this? Yeah. Any ideas? What maybe what could we use this for? Maybe a hint? Mason. Mason. Cement. It's used for cement mortar. This is a tub point. It's so skinny. It's a tub point tool. So oh, when you lay point. the bricks on and you have mortar and you lay the joint, this is how you tuck point the joints. Oh. Make it nice and smooth in between. Tuck point. So that's, and that's just a few tools. We have probably thousands and thousands of tools that people use. Yeah. And when we talk about work, it doesn't have to be work where we're drilling for oil or we're, we're in a mine, mining for coal or maybe electrical work. We can do stuff like this. This is work. This is work. So what God has created works for us to do. It says he has grass growing, but grass is getting high. So what do we do with that grass? Do we burn the grass? Uh, what, what do we do? Um, mow it. Mow it. Mow exactly. It. Exactly. We're mowing the grass. He looks like he's happy too. See, you see a uh, smile on his face? He's happy, right? Mm -hmm. Should be happy. I'm usually sweating and it gets sweating. Thursday, like there last is. week. <laughs> now what's this what's this girl doing? Mm. Mm, what's she doing? Setting the table. Much like she's setting a table. She's setting a table. One of the things one of the things we have to do if we're going to eat, we can't eat the food off the table. We have to have a plate. So she's setting the table to help us get ready to eat. Now what's this boy doing? What's this boy doing? He's got maybe some cans, maybe some cartons. We're just going to say he's probably taking out the trash. Recycling. Yeah. Okay. Now, do people like to take out the trash? Yeah, some people do. And we have people that work taking the trash from our houses and taking it to a landfill. That's work. But we have to get it down to the street, so we have to take the trash out. So. Here's something that we can do to help out, help out our parents, our friends. We can take out the trash. It's work. It's work. Now, what are these girls doing? What are these girls doing? Okay, laundry is done. What do they do? What do they do now? Folding the clothes. Folding the clothes. You just don't dump the clothes on the bed and say, "Okay, I'm all done." No, no. You have to. You have to. Pick them out, you have to separate them. It says, okay, the socks over here, my undershirts over here, and I have my shirts over here, my pants are over here, and the towels are over here. You have to separate them, pull them, and put in different places. Okay. Yeah. Everybody's got to help out. Everybody helps out. Wow. Yeah. It looks like somebody's in trouble here. Are hurting. Are hurting. Someone is very sad. They've heard bad news. Something has happened terribly to them. And, and the girl on the right, she's helping out. That's that's work. It's work in the Lord. We're helping each other. We're comforting each other. Yes. We're trying to help them to realize that they're not alone in their pain and their sorrow. And that's great work. And that's great work. That's wonderful. What about this? What are they doing? Prayer. Prayer. They're praying for someone. They're praying for someone. If we can't do anything else, if we can't do anything else, if we can't cut the grass, we can't, if we can't set the table, if we can't fold our clothes, if we can't work in a rock mine, 
if we can't work on our power line, what can we do? We can pray. We can pray for that person. We can pray for our friends. We can pray for each other. We can pray for our parents. We can pray for our friends that are hurting. If we can't do anything else, we can still pray. We can still go to God and say, please, please God, help this person. This person is hurting, or we, we need this to happen. We, we want this to happen. We can always pray to God. He'll always hear our prayer. Always. He'll always hear us. And the Bible says that we were created in Jesus to do good works, which God prepared us to do. Jesus, God, prepared all these works that we've talked about. Working in a rock mine. Praying. Setting the table. These are all things that God created for us to do. He created these works for us to do them. So, and these are good works, are gifts from God. So we should thank God for giving us these good works. So as Christians, we should be ready to do these works because they please God. And performing these good works gives an indication that we are Christians. We're doing something different that maybe other people wouldn't be doing. But it gives an indication that we are giving something back to God. So, so we should perform these works like cleaning the room. Should we do it with joy or sadness? What's, what's a good answer? What's a good answer? Should we be happy to do these things like cleaning your house, taking out the trash? Should that be a sad job or should we be glad? We should be glad. It's Matthew, Matthew. Uh, I answered the question. I'm sorry. Sorry. Uh, for that happy? Should feel happy. Yeah. Exactly. Happy. We should be happy. Mm -hmm. We should be happy to do these good things. Now, sometimes it may be really hard to do. Say if your mom says, Matthew, clean your room. And you open the door, and your room is a total mess. Okay, you've got piles of junk everywhere. That's hard to do, isn't it? That's hard to do. It may not be the thing that you really want to do. Maybe you want to go out swimming or something like that, but it's something that you have to do. Mm -hmm. It's a good work, and you do it with joy. But, and I say again, if you do our works, the works that God has created with joy and not with sadness. Because that's what Jesus would want us to do. He wants us to do these.